Hello everyone and welcome to the new Arduino tutorial. Once more, first of all, I want to tell you I'm very sorry again once more for not being present. I was working on my end of year project before finishing school. So now today we will talk basically about something very simple, very easy. We talk about a PIR. PIR here, which means uh, passive infrared and it is mostly called um, motion detection object. So this is the PIR sensor itself. So the PIR is basically comprises of this. So this is the guy who sends out the infrared. Then this lens here just helps to diffract it so that it reaches maximum places. So let's just check the pin out of our PIR sensor. If you look at it carefully, you can see here we have the VCC. We have the output and then we have the ground, so it's a tripping um, sensor. And also up here we have the a potential small potentiometer that can be helped if you turn it carefully, so we'll be able to uh, adjust the sens the sensitivity, which can go up to seven meters. Why here is used to adjust how long the level is going to be high. As I said, it's a motion detection something. So when a motion, motion is being detected, it stays high for a certain level of time before it goes down. Okay. And here we have a buzzer which we are going to hook up to our Arduino board in order to know whether or not an intruder is found there. So let us pass to the wiring up. from here the wiring is basically very simple we see from here this red that goes to the VCC this is it at our 5 volts the output which is gray goes to digital pin 7 we have here the ground which goes to our ground and then to wire up the uh, the buzzer is very simple just put one on let um on pin 13 and the other one on the ground and that's very simple so now we'll pass on to the code okay, so yeah i'll just basically explain uh, how the code goes on you declare your buzzer pin you declare the p pin you declare a value an integer called p value and here we set the buzzer to output and then our p is our input so we put the buzzer to be low sorry for the mistake we put the buzzer to be low and then basically what it does is the value that is declared up here as it reads the digital um, through the digital read function from the p pin it is either high or low that is either zero or one and then it writes it on our buzzer pin basically with the value which is either high or low and that is basically the code so i would like to thank you all for watching hope to see our own realization very soon put your any worries inside the comment section of the video please do not forget to subscribe to the video share it to help your all your of your mates and please Share it for other people to come and subscribe. And after subscribing, do not forget to click on the bell button to be notified in case any new video is being put up. And I'm very sure you are going to catch me all next week, Saturday morning, for us to have another nice and passionate tutorial video.